It's Mike Count, the show. Our phone number is 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Did I tell him to cancel the game or just on here? Kind of, but I don't, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think it was a full on. I think it was more like nobody wants to talk to him. What if we? he can't be in my head, then I don't know what his yeah. job is here. That's true. Look at Donovan Smith. Oh, man. That is, <laughs> that is, intimi- that is an intimidating look right there. That is a look. That, yeah, you're a hat. You listen. I'm I'm telling you right now. I looked at your picture and I said, "We don't know Donovan Smith, but I guarantee you, we're gonna love him." You just look like that kind of guy. Hey. You know how some people look like dicks. Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like that. I thought you said no cursing. Oh, uh, dick. You can say dick. Yeah. I can it's call weird. you. All right. I yeah. want to explain to you on radio. I could call you a dick, and right. I call, I could even say I'm not gonna say it, but I could say. You know, Donovan, you look like a big pussy. That's what Spanish was saying before you That's not in. what I said, sir. Um, he said that? No, nope, he, please, God. <laughs> yeah. But I can't say, hey, you want to see my, or she has a nice. Like, isn't that weird? Uh, it's all right. it I does. won't be saying it anyway. You know, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming in here. And uh, sure. it is a pleasure to meet you. And I see we have a matching tattoo already. What's that? A, a Yankee NY. There we go. Yeah. Is a, a Hempstead guy. Now, but you moved, though, right? Why did you move? Uh, so I moved from uh, Hempstead to Amityville, actually, and then I moved Whoa. down to Baltimore. Uh-huh. Um, sophomore year. You know, just better opportunity for me, yeah. my sister. So I uh, moved down there with my grandmother and uncle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and uh, at, what, at what sign did they look at you and go, get a load of the size of this baby <laughs> he's going to be? Like, when did you sprout up? Like, I have a 12-year-old son yeah. who's a giant. Mm-hmm. He's just real skinny and tall. So I had my chunky phases. Yeah, we did. Um, basically, I'm going through mine now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, uh, believe it or not, I was taller than my first grade teacher. Oh, and she was a good, she was a good wow. five two. Uh-huh. So, um, but then I probably reached about six two, six three, middle school. Right. And then you kept you know, going from just, there. Just capped out at six six. Right. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, you get that, you got that young weight on you, and then. You start growing taller and you slim out a little bit and start figuring out your body and yeah. whatnot. So. Probably be great to be that young and that size right. because you learned how to handle it young. Right, exactly. Yeah, I, I, di- I didn't work out until junior year of high school, so I've never lifted a weight. Yeah. I, couldn't really? even, I couldn't even do a push-up junior year of high school. How good of a football player were you, though? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah right. probably, <laughs> probably didn't have to until you got into where you were playing against right, guys right, right. who were exactly. your own size. And they were working out, so you had to do that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, who's the first coach that says to you, "I think we got something special here"? Ooh, believe it or not, a lot of my coaches told me I would never be anything. Oh, don't you oh. love that? Don't you love that? Oh. Do you ever call? <laughs> do you ever want to call him and be like, "Hey"? You want to know what's funny? He yeah. tried to hit me up one time. He ah. said, "Hey, I'm in Tampa." I'm like, "All right, good, good for you." It's bad that I hold grudges too. That's sure. not a grudge. It could it could have been like you know whatever you want to call it, a different type of motivation or whatever, but he said you'll never be anything. You you won't be a D1 athlete. Uh-huh. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then no, no better way to shove it up his butt than exactly. to go there and sign exactly. that big-ass contract. Exactly, exactly. Um, I would assume you come from a single-parent family. Single That's not what I was home. assuming. I was uh, assume <laughs> that you didn't have a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, no. It was it was tough. Five, a single-parent single, single parent home, yep. just my mom, uh, five yes. kids. Uh, so, you know, she worked. You know, seven o'clock and got home about ten o'clock. What did she do, your mom? Uh, she worked for New York State Workers Comp, and then she worked at Bloomingdale's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, how great is that? That you are so financially set now, like like you got to yeah. look back at your yeah. mom and go, "I owe you. I got you." Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's good. It's also a pain. Yeah. <laughs> more money, more problems. Everybody calling true. you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. get everybody out the woodworks, <laughs> but um, you know, it's definitely a blessing to be able to help uh whenever you need it. Um. You know, especially her, just to see all that she's been through and that, you know, she sacrificed for us. Right. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing. You you uh, signed a good deal when you first got drafted. Right. And you were probably like, I, this is a great deal. What was it, like $4 million? Yeah, so I, my rookie contract was, what, four years, $6 million? Okay, four so. years, $6 million. You were probably like. I'm set. Yeah. And then they were like, hey, Donovan, we got a new contract for right. you. Three years, 40-something million. Oh! <laughs> Do you know? That's, I don't that's know. the right reaction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but I know I hit you up and it was like, I hold $5. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. I do. I said, what did I say to you? you? You were like, how long you want to hold it yeah, for? Yeah, how long you want to hold it for? Exactly. <laughs> what What is that feeling like? I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, I mean that from a proud point right. of view. Like, like you only get that kind of money when you've worked for right. it yeah. that's got to be so great yeah it, it is great basically honestly you just see all your hard work and dedication and sacrifices just pay off basically yeah. literally um 
And, you know, just to know that you're, it's life-changing money. Yeah. And there's still more to be had. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, it's just it's just a stepping stone. And then, you know, next one, what, hopefully 25 bigger. years old? 25. Don't F it up. You know? Don't screw this up. <laughs> you don't have any kids, do you? No, nah, no kids. Uh, girlfriend? Yes. How long have you been I with her? I just said that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm going to ruin it for you right now. How long have you been with her? A good amount. I saw a picture of you together. Yeah. And it's part of me that wants to tell you as an old man to look down at you and say, you you don't get too serious yet. You've right. got a whole world up ahead of you. Right. But then again, you guys kind of look like a good couple, too. <laughs> she looks adorable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, she, she's great. She's smart. Beauty and brains. Literally. Yeah. But don't yeah. screw it up to where you end up having to give her half, half of anything. Prenup. Prenup. And then also keep in mind, don't. I'm going to say this on the air and we're going to laugh at it, but keep it in the back of your head. <laughs> It's much easier to have her killed than it is to get divorced. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Be careful. Somebody nah. will be just call Spanish, and we'll have her. We'll be like, hey, Donovan wants to take you hiking. We're going to meet up in the <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll get it, we'll get it done right. Yeah, um, nah, she's good, though. When you are at the draft, right. do you have? when do you have an idea that you know what team you're going to? So, basically, for me, I went so second round, so second day, and what, second pick, so I was – Literally just sat down, and everything's delayed TV-wise, you right. know that. <clears throat> and, you know, we get there. They're like, okay, guys, you get something to drink, get something to eat or whatever. But, you know, phones are ringing already because, yeah. obviously, you know, Wheeling people – Exactly, people know already prior. And I'm sitting there eating shrimp, <laughs> shrimp cocktail, and the phone is ringing. Yeah. And my sister and everybody just starts, like, crying and yelling. And I'm like, like what? I got a mouthful of shrimp. <laughs> and I pick up the phone. Well, actually, some, I think my sister picked up the phone. Right. And whatnot. And then they were like, hey, it's for you. And then they were like, it's the Buccaneers. And I'm like, oh, sheesh. Yeah, yeah. Wait, now, now, be honest. Was that, like, a, a disappointment? Was it excitement? Like, no, it, it was it I was. Mean, any was team would have been great. Right, right. But, you know, you, you could you could have been like, ah. Waiting for the Giants to call. I was yeah, no, nah, I just, call. for me personally, I just felt like um, I got snubbed on first round. Um, yeah. But outside of that, no, I was I was happy to where I was going. I um, would imagine that that's a huge disappointment if you expect to go in the first round. I wasn't know. expecting to go first round. Though. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Thing. If you expect it and, you know, know. And, and you were kind of hoping right. so you could shove it down that coach from high school's throat, right. first <laughs> rounder now. <laughs> But then you get picked in the second round, Tampa. Now, Tampa at the time, right. we don't have a great record. We're not. We're kind of like in transition period. Right. You're like, oh, are you like, well, I'll go there and be a part of that rebuilding that, yeah. or you're like, whatever, I'm going to sign it. Yeah, no, nah, I was just, it was it was a new opportunity. Um, Obviously, you know, Jameis was the first overall pick. I had, you know, met him prior. Right. And, you know, obviously, I mean, growing up, I was not a Buccaneers fan, but I was, you know, I was paying attention a little bit. Sure. You know, the Rondé Barber days and all that good stuff. But, um, you know. I was just like, hey, it's Florida. I've never been down to Florida. Let's go. Is there any concern being this big guy, how goddamn hot it is down here? Uh, At first. Yeah. But as you see, I wear long sleeves. <laughs> Why? That's, I, I mean, it's unbelievable. So the logic behind it makes perfect sense. Direct sun, sun, sun contact to your skin makes you hotter. Right. So for me, I just felt, I also don't like, you know, touching other people's sweat and everything. Yeah, yeah, I understand so, that. So for me... When you're sweating, you know, it's so humid, you don't, it, it doesn't evaporate or anything like that. Yeah. The sleeves kind of get that. And okay. It cools you down. In yeah. A way. It's it's not like direct. almost like a scuba suit. Oh, oh almost, you <laughs> yeah. know. And that's my logic behind it. I yeah. mean, yeah, whatever whatever makes you comfortable. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> but no, me. there are some days I'd be out there like, dang, I got to cut these sleeves yeah. off. <laughs> you're talking to a guy who doesn't like to go to the games before November because oh, it's too hot to sit there. I know. Let alone play there. Exactly. So just imagine sitting there baking and then just imagine sitting on the sideline baking or out oh. on the field baking no. while you're running around trying to move somebody who's 300 pounds. No, thank you. <laughs> you meet with the new coach yet? Oh, yeah. I met with Bruce Arians. How is he cool? Well, he's great. Yeah. Um, you know, straight to the point kind of guy. Obviously, that's, you know, as men, that's what you want. You yeah. know, you don't like any BS. Basically, just, you know, I'm going to tell it like it is. You either got it or you don't. Or this is this and blah, blah, blah. And it's perfect because then you know where you stand mm -hmm. rather than coming in being on the fence about something or, you know, oh, I don't know how he feels about me type deal. Yeah. A lot of it goes a lot of that goes on. But you know, he's great. He 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 brings a lot of competition out of guys. And that's that's big. That's you what know. you need in order to get the best out oh, of Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um a lot of competition and you know, it's been great so far. Talk to me about last season. We love Jameis. Right. Okay. But you got Jameis out last season and you got mm -hmm. uh old cool daddy coming in there throwing <laughs> touchdowns. We like what I don't know what to do. We 
Was that like you guys didn't talk about that? No, I mean, obviously we understood, you know, the circumstances and everything. But at the end of the day, it's the next man up. Yeah. And, you know, Fitzy came in and did what he had to do. And then until James came back. And then obviously, you know, uh, James is, is great, you yeah. know, um, came back. And then, you know, we had the role from there. But, um, yeah, you know, I you – it it sucks when you have your starting quarterback out, yeah. but at the end of the day, you know you you gonna dig yourself a deeper hole if you sit there and mope and whine about it. You know, you gotta I, do we're, the job. We're, we're all in the league, right? Yeah. It's a job, and you know you just go from there. But uh, at the end of the day, you know you gotta go out there and do your job. Who's the nastiest guy across the line from you? <laughs> Who don't you like? I don't like a lot of people. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I like that better. I don't like a lot of people, honestly. Um, but no, surprisingly, it's it's. People are pretty cool. Everybody talk crap? Like, like a lot of people talk crap, but it's yeah. more just fun because a lot of everybody knows everybody somehow, yeah. some way, whether it be, you know, out partying, whether it be a, a, an event, a camp, or, you know, m- mutual friends or right. colleges or something like that. So you're all in a – You're all in a – You know, it's like a little pool of, you know, whatever it yeah. is. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's just fun, but then, you know, you get those one or two guys who just – Yeah. I can't say it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can say it. A-holes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see you smack somebody around. Listen, I told um, – what was oh, what was the guy's name in here uh, that used to play defensive line for us? Uh, it was so long ago I mm-hmm. lost his name. It was before you were on the team. He had, the, he had uh, braided hair. Uh, d- Don uh, – Don, d- 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 It's a D. Some yeah. D. <laughs> d- uh, he'll hit me. G- Gio, you got to know. He, had, he was a defensive lineman. He had Davin, a long braid. Davin, Davin Jones. Joseph. Dav, Davin jo- oh, Joseph. Davin Joseph. Davin Joseph. Yeah. yeah. He Together. played offensive line, didn't he? No, here? I think he was, Davin Joseph, I he did, I think. Listen, maybe he did. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I trust you. <laughs> I let him in on a secret that I'm going to let you on because you're on our team. Right. Is There's not a whole lot left, but uh, like, could you think of any tough – Defensive line guys, that you're, the white guys that you line up against? <laughs> <laughs> Not really a lot, right? Uh, I mean, maybe linebacker. <laughs> Call Nassib. <laughs> yeah. Just, I was going to say, no, that the white guys aren't inherently afraid of the black guys. A little really? Bit. Yeah, they're never going to admit it. But, but they are. a little bit. I mean, you look kind of like <laughs> yeah. super sweet. Yeah. But um, like Davin Joseph, when he had the braids in his hair yeah. and all that, oh, yeah. he looked like any minute he could just just oh, right hey. there. Yeah. I remember that. Okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't normally, white people don't want the secret to get out, but right. since we're trying to win a game, you know, I, I appreciate like I, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm on your side. Color barriers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Donovan Smith, who is here, who has a charity event coming up. Yeah. Now, do you golf? I do not golf. I Good. top golf. <laughs> golf sucks. Yeah. I live on a golf course. I The other day, I was sitting out in my back porch, because that's what old men do. They just right. sit there and look at nature. Right. right. And then uh, I went on an Instagram live video, mm-hmm. and there were golfers out there, and I just was I zoomed in on them, just started talking horrible things about because I, I don't know why I just right. hate the game, I hate golfers, right. I hate people take it too seriously. <laughs> but who doesn't like to bowl? <laughs> Bowling is where it's at. It's easy. Yeah. It's easy. It's air conditioned. You get to wear f- cool shoes and exactly. cool shirts. You can eat nachos while you're playing. Yes. While you're playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Donovan bowls overhand, which is amazing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, Monday, May thirteenth. Mm-hmm. We have an Autism Speaks uh, benefit with Donovan, and uh, it is happening down at Pin Chasers on Armenia Avenue, which this station does a lot with. We're very familiar with it. Yep. It's $100 to bowl, $75 if you just want to come be a spectator, uh, and it's only $50 for kids 12 and under, and it all goes to benefit uh, Autism Speaks. You know somebody affected by autism? Uh, yeah, my uh, my nephew Aiden has autism. So, so. you got you to gotta do what you can to help out the cause. Now, if you want to be a part of this, I would imagine this is one of those things that fill up really quick. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can go to uh, autismspeaks.org forward slash Donovan Smith Bowl. You can just Google it. It's also on our Instagram page right. uh, where you can do it and be involved in it. And I'm sure other your other teammates stop by. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be good. <clears throat> so my theory behind it was basically just make like a team outing yeah. with it. Um, get as many guys there as possible. But then allow the public to come bowl. But at the end of the day, it's all for you know a great cause. Yeah. So basically, it's a night out. Music. Green Lemon is uh, providing food. Fresh Kitchen is providing food. Good food. Um. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You know, some music. There's gonna be obviously some prizes and stuff, giveaway. Whether it be signed jersey, signed ball. You know, different things. 
Um, and you know, just a just a night out to have fun, and it's all for a great cause. A hundred yeah. proceeds go to you know Autism Speaks. So. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, and and you know this now from being here, but this is a great thing about this community, whether it be the Buccaneers or the Lightning, is you guys really uh, give back, right. and uh, it's great to see you doing that. That's a great uh, example for the kids oh, and yeah. for up and coming kids who are like one day I'm going to sign a fifty million right, dollar right. check <laughs> and know that also part of that responsibility is have to do a little bit oh, yeah, of you, uh, some you, good work. You definitely got to give back, especially when you're at the platform of where we at. Yeah, uh, you know we're obviously blessed to to do so many things, and you know what better way to you know affect people in a positive way than you know getting out in the community. So yeah, in that way they don't it, know you by just the number. Right, <laughs> uh, that's the thing. Uh, you know, uh, back in the day when Sap played here. Mm-hmm. Sap went through his hair phases, and when he went through the afro phase, right. after every play, he would take his helmet off, mm-hmm. and everybody would talk about it, and he'd get in trouble for it, and he said to me, I'm out there killing on the field, and nobody knows what I look like. Absolutely. He's like, so I'm taking that helmet off every right. time. I was like, that's so that's brilliant. It makes sense. Yeah. Every, every other sport, you think about it, you can see their face. Yeah. I mean, Basketball. That's the truth. That's the you truth. Know what I'm saying? We, uh... We ha- used to have like back in those good days in the uh, in the Buccaneers Super Bowl days mm-hmm. when you had Sap and you had Lynch and you had mm-hmm. Allstott and you had all these great guys Derek Brooks, they all did uh, uh, radio shows and they were out in the community. There was a lot of things happening, mm-hmm. appearances, and you got to. See them. I feel like I, I feel like we don't really mostly because some of the guys are new and the team's been right. rebuilding. Right. But we want to have you guys right. on more. Like I love having players. Yeah, in there. a lot of it is. <clears throat> All, I mean, it's not an excuse. It's, it's young guys too. Yeah. So you know, you kind of don't want to just throw them out in the fire. It, it, to be out in the community, it's you have to. Ha- it's a lot that you have to learn. Yeah. Um, and stuff like that. But you know, we we have a lot of young guys and and stuff like that. But you know, you pretty much want to. The th- the thing is that guys do they want to get established on the field right. and in the building and be able before to do they. Thing. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't start really doing anything probably until my third year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so. poor Jameis anything he says that would be <laughs> slightly negative they try to use that against him all the time yeah. media yeah i know i don't <laughs> i don't uh, get that though it's good to do that against mm-hmm. uh people who are coming in from out of town right but these are your guys right you know what i mean you right. got to get behind your team and right. you got to help uh, push i mean it's important not only to help uh you know raise money for autism speaks but it's also important for the 80 percent of our audience who isn't going to be able to go exactly to know that we got a guy on our team who cares enough to exactly. do that that's that's what i like that's why i like having you guys on the show oh yeah definitely it's it's, it's huge anytime you get out and promote it and, and get and to know your personality exactly. you know outside of football right. because outside of football you got to be a Right, uh, an a hole. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I think everybody loves hard knock so much, is because you get to see a team and you right. get to see the personalities of the guys and the new guys coming in and that type exactly. of exactly. But even then, hard knocks, you really don't you really don't get to know somebody until they're outside of the building. Because when I'm inside the building, I like to say I'm the same me all the time, but mm. you, it, it's hard to say that when you're in the building, you're a certain way. When you're outside the building, right. you're, you're a different way. Yeah, I can see that because it's it's like work. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> everything you do is being watched. So, um, yeah, everybody has their, their ways of being the best them at work, but then to be the best them overall, mm-hmm. you know, it's – you'll, be- you'll see that. Who's your best friend on the team? I got a lot of them. Who do you hang, <laughs> who do you hang out with the most outside of work? Ooh, outside of work? Um, well, shoot, it was Charles Sims, but he's not here anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of work is so hard. O.J. Howard? Oh, yeah. Um how about that guy? Yeah, he's great. He's gonna be great. Uh, he's gonna be great. It used to be Jameis. He uh-huh. got, you know, wife and kid got now. A baby now. Yeah. You know, so obviously you don't want to be too too much into that. Jameis um, buy you anything for saving his life? <laughs> yeah, you ever have one of those? They, they, quarterback they, gifts. Yeah, they they give us a uh, good quarterback's gifts. To yeah, the, uh, to the old line. Like what? Give me an idea what you guys get. That's not that's so, not privileged information. All right, so Fitzy he bought us a uh, Yeti cooler with his face plastered on the top. <laughs> of it. So then he that's tells us. Funny. So then he tells us that. It's great to cool beers and everything or whatever else it, w- it may be, and it's a great seat for for you, so you can sit on my face. face. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And yeah. then, uh, you know, Jameis, is, he's gotten us iPads. He's gotten us uh, book bags yeah. um, and everything, uh, suit jackets oh, and, that's cool. and stuff, so. That's great. good. It seems yeah. like a, it seems like there's a good bonded group of guys. Oh yeah, that, I, I say this all the time. I feel like we got probably the best locker room, uh, top to bottom. Um, everybody messes with everybody. Right. You know, that's and good. It's it's you obviously you have your little cliques, whether it be position groups or whatever. But um, you know, a lot of guys they they mix and match who they hang out with. So I like that. This is Donovan Smith from your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here he's got an Autism Speaks 
bowling uh, tournament happening for Charity Monday, May 13th. Yeah. You can go and just Google Autism Speaks, Donovan Smith Bowling, and it'll come right up. It's also on our Instagram page. You could register and be a part of it, help to raise money, and have a good night with the uh, the Buccaneers guys and Donovan. Now, now, when you went and signed your contract, mm-hmm. you get in the car, and you're doing that little butt cheek dance, like, ah, I just signed a contract. <laughs> What's the first dumb thing you go by? Like, I'm going to tell you. So I didn't even have a dance. It didn't. It. You didn't even have a butt dance? No. <laughs> Why not? It didn't sit, sink in? It'll sink in when I get my first paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you look at all those zeros and you're like, what? <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, What do you want to buy that you haven't bought already that you're like, I'm going to buy that this year? Mm. Let me tell you. When I signed my last contract, mm-hmm. I almost bought. You know Joey Fatone from the Backstreet Boys or mm-hmm. Sync, whatever band he is? Yeah. He lives in Orlando, and he was selling a giant thing of the Death Star that he had made. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to buy that and put it in my son's bedroom. Really? Yeah, and then I didn't buy it, and I was so glad I didn't. Right. And then um, this, I'm, I'm in a contract renewal phase right now. Mm-hmm. I may buy a Tesla because my son really wants one oh, really bad. Great. And I wanted to drive. Oh, you have one? No, or you I just don't, drove it. Okay. But they're great. I wanted to... Uh, I want to just let it drive by itself. I'm dying to see that. Oh yeah. Uh, so that's my that's on my list. Okay. But that's, I, that's, that's, I also don't make fifty million dollars. <laughs> that makes sense. So I, I, think for me, <sighs> I think for me, I think for me it'll be uh, just a house, a nice fat house with a bo- two lane bowling alley that I'm. Oh play. yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, I was gonna ask you what you into, like video games or what? I mean, I play video games and everything. I mean, Gerald like, McCoy is a little much with the Batman stuff. Yeah, get it. you're an adult now. Time to move on. <laughs> hey, no, that's his thing. I man. know he his has thing. a dope. Like, if I, they need to do a cribs with Gerald and yeah. just go through his man cave. They did. They they did one like on on uh, NFL.com. Day. It was amazing. Yeah. And I'm jealous, actually. Are you really? <laughs> He's got too many toys. Hey, so be it. Uh, You're never too old to be a kid. No, that's what I want. That's why I don't know what you're into. What are you going to Yeah, do? no. So it's for me, I'm just a big sneaker guy. Uh-huh. Um, but you can only buy but so many sneakers. Say, you only have two feet. Exactly. You and can buy all, but so many sneakers. You don't want to get them sneakers. dirty. Yeah. <laughs> One day you're going to look at it and you're going to go, why do I have all this? Yeah. Um, but for me, no, I just, I got my car and I, I would just want to get me a uh, nice fat house. That way I can, you know. Do when, whatever. I, when I was poor, I used mm-hmm. to sit online at Hummer.com, and I used to design my luxury Hummer. Yeah. This is what I would get. <laughs> this is what I want. Now I'm on Hummer number two. Yeah. There's got to be something where you're like, I'm going to get me an airplane. No, surprisingly no. not. No, big guys don't Not like big into jewelry. Plans. Oh, good. You know. Says the um, guy with a diamond and crescent 76 around his Well, neck. yeah, I mean, that's different. You know, you got you to you gotta represent. You got to represent. But outside of that, literally, I... Apple Watch. Yeah. I, was, I don't wear rings. Listen, you seem like the most level-headed athlete we've talked to in a long time. Pretty much. If anything, my thing is cars. Yeah. What, um, do, you, what, what do you like? <clears throat> How many have now? <laughs> <laughs> do you need a whole building for your cars? I, <laughs> I have, okay, I have four cars. Uh-huh. But um, their leases are up, so I only have two. So we're, le- we're leasing right now. Right. All right, so really we're buying them for a matter I, of luxury I bought, and convenience. Uh, yeah, I bought two cars. What do you got? What uh, do you say? Uh, Anything Audi, special? Uh, Audi Q8. Not too small? No. Okay. And then uh, um, <laughs> a GT63. Oh, wow. Mercedes. Oh, nice. See, that's what you need, though. Right. That That's what... That's your weekend car. Mm-hmm. No, maybe not weekend because you work on the weekends. But that's your what rolling up into a restaurant. <laughs> right. When we see you, we want to know. Who right. Yeah, right. You need one of those. Right. Yeah. Oh, look, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, that's good. Mm-hmm. Now listen to me. My best friend in the whole world. Mm-hmm. He uh, he has a boutique car dealership. Right. He sells to the entire NHL mm-hmm. and a ton of people from the NFL. Right. He'll get you whatever you need. So I wanted a Lamborghini truck. Truck? Yeah, a Lamborg a Lamborghini truck. But no, <laughs> <laughs> you're getting one. Just I'll just find out. I'll just find out what the availability is. Zen Motorsports. He will. Mm-hmm. He will find. I, He'll I find it. I can't breathe a car in front of him. Hello, Pete. You're on the air, and Donovan Smith from the Buccaneers is here. We're gonna need a Lamborghini truck by the end of the day. <laughs> Do that. No, look at him. We can do that. You gonna start so much. I'm telling you, I we've been in restaurants and guys will come you know, yeah. in Ferraris, and Pete will walk over to them and I go, "What are you? Do? He's already got a car." Right. And Pete will come back five minutes later and I'll go, "What are you doing? He already pulled up in a Ferrari." And he goes, "He's gonna sell that thing in six months." Mm-hmm. And sure enough, he'll call me and be like, 
a guy who's already sold me his Ferrari. Because guys a lot of times buy them and they get sick of them and they don't yeah. want to pay for them yeah. anymore. But Donovan's rich. He needs a good car. <laughs> what well, Donovan, we need to make sh- we need to make sure when you get that big house you were talking about, you get enough room for all your cars. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> I need me a nice old school. That's what I need. Yeah. What What do we got in the uh, in the <laughs> like '66 Charger? Well, I don't know. What are you, you looking? Know, we at? got a we got a, we got a we got a '69 Camaro that was completely restored and redone. Exterior '69. The interior is all new technology. Oh, so good. Oh, DM me those pictures. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. he's the guy. He, I'm telling you, all yeah. the all the other players will tell you about it because he's not. He don't. At the end of the day, like I love when when Pete talks to guys, like mm-hmm. NHL guys. Right. He didn't even know him, and they'll wire him a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> and then, then Pete will be on the phone with him, and I'll go. Like I keep waiting for him to slip into slimy sales guy. Right. Because I don't know that side of him, and and he'll go. I got the car if you need it, and then mm-hmm. I hear him go. No, it's not for everybody. If you don't want it, I'll just send you your check back. <laughs> hey, honestly, yeah, yeah, it's the you, best. Yeah, you, you, yeah you, you, you can't try to put a guy in something that they're not going to be happy with because, you know, my whole business model has always been, listen, these things are not stocks or bonds or annuities. They're going to lose money, right? So right. our job is for you to lose the least amount of money as possible so I can still look you in the face as a friend and tell you, hey, you had your fun. Let's get out of it now, and we'll get you into something else. That's a good guy right there. See, mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hook you two up after the show. <laughs> so it's Lamborghini yeah, truck Lamborghini and the 69 Camaro. <laughs> oh, yeah, just spending <laughs> my money, huh? <laughs> See, dude. Um, seriously, I, one time we were doing a promotion with the radio station. Van mm-hmm. Halen was here, and I had tickets from Budweiser that I can go up to somebody and say, I just upgraded you to the front row. Right. So they put me in a Mercedes Sprinter, mm-hmm. and we were driving to the Hard Rock. I was going to go find people who were drinking and upgrade them. And on the way there, I looked at Pete, and I go, I don't understand, Pete. Why don't we have one of these? Right. We always rent them when we go out. Mm-hmm. It would probably be cheaper if we just buy one. So I go there, and I uh, find the people, and I give them the tickets, and I take the pictures with them. We get back All in right. the car, and Pete turns around. and goes, they're delivering it Monday afternoon, but we won't be able to. Go. I go, what? And he goes, I already got this printer. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you can't even whisper in front of him. You're going to end up with that car. Uh, listen, I always I always used to say, I've, I've transitioned a little bit. Mm-hmm. I used to say I want an older like an old black man friend right. to advise me. Like I, I want right. to be like, um, hey man, what are we doing this weekend? I want to hear. I want. I want him to go. Why, why are you always messing with them strippers? Let's go. <laughs> let's go get a hot dog and hang out. At the fe- like I need somebody to keep me grounded. <laughs> I feel like now that I'm old and you're yeah. young, yeah. I've become your old white man now. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be your Yoda. From you're now gonna on. be my Yoda. Yeah, I just feel like. <laughs> I feel like if you go, if you ask the other guys on the team, mm-hmm. hey man, should I buy a Lamborghini truck? They're all gonna right. go, yeah, man, you got fifty million dollars. Go right. buy that truck. And, no. and then, yeah, and then you'd call me and you'd be like, hey, man, I was thinking about buying a Lamborghini truck. Nah. I'm like, Donovan, you got six cars already. Right. What do you need another car Exactly. For? Plus, <laughs> there's a chance we're going to have a baby in a couple of years. Right. Save that money. Right, you know? exactly. You guys are going to have a baby? That's that congratulations. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so saying. we're out on a Lamborghini truck. No, 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 we're no. out. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying you, you need said it. you need a, a voice of common sense. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, oh, and, I, and also you'll also find, which mm. I'm sure you've found already, Hangers on people who want things. Oh, yeah. I don't want it. I got, I got enough stuff. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to go out. Yeah, I'm. I'm happiest at home playing Call of Duty. Oh man, me I too. Kids. I'm like, I, I stay home. I went to Restoration Hardware and bought me the most comfortable, fattest chair you'll ever see in your life. I don't want to leave that chair. You ever sit on the cloud that they got in there, the yeah, sofa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that in my living room. But okay, but and tell me, you didn't experience this being six, seven that you are, whatever you are. Trying to get up from that goddamn thing. You got to roll off of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's worth it. It's, it's worth comfortable, it. It's but comfortable, but you might as well put beanbags in your house you at that it, point. Hey, listen, it's comfortable yeah, as I don't know it what. Is, it really is. is. It's, you Nothing's better than watching Buccaneer football on a Sunday, laying on the cloud with your hands stuffed in your pants. You know, watching the game. <laughs> exactly. I mean, but you'll probably fall asleep by halftime. It's, it's so comfortable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, my wife is always like, hey, you want to go? <clears throat> In the bedroom and watch a movie, mm-hmm. and I go, I do, but I promise you, in seven minutes I'll, I'll be fall asleep. asleep. I can't do that. Yeah, I'm, I need to. I'm I, the same way, but then now with the couches, I'm gonna fall asleep on the couch. I know. <laughs> I know. That it's so funny is that cloud couch is so comfortable, mm-hmm. but you really have to roll off. And yeah, I know. My <laughs> my girlfriend says she can't lay down on it because it's like a automatic sleep machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally, it's like instant. You're just gonna fall asleep. It's like a vagina couch. <laughs> Once you get on it, you never want to get out. That's just you just stay there forever. Uh, man, there's a lot of fun having you in here. Definitely appreciate Listen, it. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm never going to be a pain in the ass. Right. But you are welcome to come on okay. any time during the season. Right. You want to promote something. You just right. want to hang out and talk BS. Okay. This is your spot, man. Hey, definitely. I appreciate and, that. And I'm sorry, but we are, we are, we 
are not sports nerds. I don't uh-huh. know. I got anything about stats. Right. I uh, I don't know uh, everybody's records. Right. But I am going to watch every game, right. and I'm going to be very excited for our team, right. win or lose. There it is. And we'd love to have you in here. Those are the fans that we love. Uh, I mean, that's it. I mean, I, I used to do a show with Simeon Rice, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever met him, but he uh, he lives in Arizona, but he was born on Venus, I'm okay. pretty sure. <laughs> he is insane. Right. Um, and uh, he's a great guy. Mm-hmm. And we do this show. And people would call up and then go, hey, Simeon, I just want to say I'm a huge fan. Right. And what you did Sunday, but, and I just hang up on him. I go, All right. he already knows he's great. Right. He doesn't want to hear you tell right. him he's great. And uh, and we never talked football. One mm-hmm. time we talked about uh, the uh, superhero with the worst powers. This okay. is on a sports radio station. Right. And the next week we sang karaoke together. Right. That's the fun stuff. Because you're getting, you're getting their personality. That's what you got to think about it. We, we're in a facility from anywhere from 6 to 6. Yeah. During a the season, bunch of sweaty if not dudes. if not if not longer, you know, guys stay after and stuff. So right. that's football, football, football. Yeah, you got to sleep for seven to eight hours, uh-huh. right? My math served me correctly. What's that leave you like four or five hours <laughs> right. to yourself? Right. I do not want to talk about football on no. <laughs> my free time. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> uh, so anytime you ever want to, do you see Avengers yet? No, I haven't. Oh, actually, come on, what are you doing? You're I know. Not even I, in I, season I, now. I know. We were supposed to go. I had all my family down here. We were supposed to go one night and then. We ended up going out to eat at uh, Council Oak instead. All right, so. Well, that's good too. You right. can't be mad at that. <laughs> what is this? Is how? What is your favorite movie of all time? Ooh, you can give me like a top two or three. Nobody. Really I gotta give to you like five. All right, I'll, it'll. It's how you know the most about a person. Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Shut your face. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? No, I could tell by the seriousness in your eyes. Matilda. You love that awesome. goddamn movie. Um, Friday. Uh huh. You brought it back around with Friday. <laughs> Friday, um, Hitch. I love Hitch. Hitch is great. Um, it's so funny you said because the other day it was on. I was watching it in the car. It was mm-hmm. on like a TV channel, <coughs> and my kids were watching it, and they were like, "What is it?" I'm like, "Hitch," and I'm driving, and I think, and I was like, "Hitch might be one of my favorite movies." Right. Uh, it, it is. Yeah. And then I got Life. Oh, life's oh, so good. Yeah, Which life's one is life? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so good. Blue Streak. Blue Streak. With, uh, Martin. Yeah. Um, what's that? Four, five. Yeah, that's good. That's that's, right. that's, I get that's, an that's, idea that's a nice where you're at. Yeah, you, you know, like funny movies. Funny movies. And you like, uh, um, little little, little funny drama, drama, romance mm-hmm. type. You know, and a then, nice little storyline. And then <laughs> movies with ugly little girls <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> with special powers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's very well rounded. Yeah. Will you have kids? Is one that day. on your agenda? One day. What's the uh <coughs> what's the age you think? Retirement kids so, or so like towards retirement? What's what's funny is <laughs> and we joke about this now, I have like six group of friends, you know, I'm really cool with coming out of college. And what? Two of them got kids already? Uh huh. Well, three of them got kids. Right. And the other three is like, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sitting there, we sit in the dorm room, we're like, yeah, we're going to have kids by 23. Mm. Oh. Who said that in the dorm room? Uh, a lot of us. In our dorm room, we're like, we're never getting married. <laughs> we're never yeah, right? You got to think about it. We've been through so much at Penn State. We was just oh, ahead of true. our time. Yeah. And now you're 25, but then it's like, dang, when? Mm. You know, you have to find the right person. Yeah. Not everybody can be a mother. True. Um, You have to find the right time mm-hmm. because – in my perfect world, I would plan it to where I have it during the off season. Right. That way, you know, you got six months, seven months. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about the fresh baby of not sleeping. I was going to say, then, <laughs> then you get to get out of there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but then you use work out as, as an excuse. But no, hopefully, I mean, just depends on how things go. I mean, I could see it within the next three years, maybe. I'm going to tell you right now, it does not work. It works with everybody else in the world. Mm-hmm. It does not work with your girl <laughs> when you're like, hey, dude, I'm, I'm playing football. Right. I'm making the money that's right. making this life possible. Right. She looks you right in the eyes and she says, "You better change this baby's diaper and then throw the garbage." Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, no listen, I, you you hear all the stories through the locker room. No. <laughs> it don't matter. Uh, I've been home with the baby all day. Listen, yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. Uh. The, you know, Chris Jericho, the wrestler. Yep. Okay, Chris Jericho said to me, "Chris Jericho is a was a TV game show host, right. he's a superstar wrestler, mm-hmm. New York Times bestselling author." The best damn uh, lemonade spokesman in the world. Right. And uh, he, I said, how do you keep grounded? He said, because every Tuesday and Thursday, my wife tells me to throw the garbage. 
And now every Tuesday and Thursday, I think about that. I'm like, that's, that's the only way you say ground. At the yeah. end of the day, no matter how great you are at everything, mm-hmm. some chick is telling you it's garbage day. <laughs> and, and I don't care how much money you make. Go throw that guy Shoot, I didn't even take my garbage out last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Listen, you're going to get to a point, though. First baby, you struggle through it. Yeah. You get no sleep. You know, second baby, you're like, hey, we got money. Let's hire us some yeah. nannies. In the house. <laughs> we did the first one. Oh, I don't yeah. trust a lot of people. Listen, it, I'm telling you right now. Just enough to make things a little easier for you. Mm. Not you still want to be a full time parent. Right. See, I told you, I'm your oldest, wisest wife. Right. Right now you, have right now. <laughs> you just want to have enough to where you get to take a little nap. Right. Because then you two are going to start hating each other. On the, yeah. on the cloud. On the cloud. On the cloud. I shoot. Hopefully, all of us fall asleep. You can fit a whole family <laughs> and a little baby on the cloud. Oh, absolutely. And also, uh, don't co sleep because you will crush that baby. <laughs> Come on. Now. Listen to me. I bet you sleep like a goddamn oak that's been cut down. <laughs> and when you roll over, that baby's gonna be like, Daddy, I can't. Well, surprisingly, see. I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty stagnant throughout the night. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I'm back sleeper. Oh, you so, are? You know. I'm pretty I'm a, stagnant. I sleep in my you know, I sleep Indian style with my legs crossed. Is that the what? dumbest thing you ever I don't know why. I just I'm in bed and I'm like I sleep side side and then I cross my legs and I'm you gotta Google that. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta right? see what that means. I don't know. I you can find everything. Probably on a Google. prostate problem. <laughs> hey man, it's been great getting to know you. Uh, I hope you stay in touch with us. I'd love Definitely. to have you on the show more. Definitely. Pete will have your car by this afternoon. <laughs> uh, if you want to bowl with Donovan Smith and some of the Buccaneers, Monday, May thirteenth at the Pin Chasers on Armenia Avenue. We do a lot of work with them. Yeah. They're great people oh, yeah. over there. And uh, you can go Google Autism Speaks and Donovan Smith, or you can go get it off our Instagram page. And you could register to be a part of that uh, and raise some money for uh, autism awareness. Thank you, Definitely. my man. Appreciate we will it. We'll take a quick break. It's the Mike Calta Show. The Mike Calta Show on 1025 The Bone.